All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Ron Baringsworth in Westeros. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on the last episode. I think I asked for like 250 likes and it looks like it's gonna cruise through a thousand within 24 hours. Um, I can't remember the last time that happened so thank you guys so much. If you guys keep that up, I'm gonna do my best to keep on pumping these episodes out on a like daily basis if possible so thank you sincerely that first episode was a good one we got off to a good start especially considering that the start was um you know ron washing ashore butt naked with just a pointy spear to his name now we have an even pointier spear and some clothes and the, and a pretty good bow i don't know we, we did pretty good all, all things considered uh ron is still getting a lay of this new land he doesn't know much still he doesn't know that there's dragons and magic and whites and like a giant ice wall. But uh, I'm looking forward to exploring it with him. Um, the reason we're hanging out in this tavern right now is because I've heard tell that there's a... Oh, that's a ransom broker. There is a certain companion hanging around here that I would love to recruit. Wait. This is, okay, it's Hodor, but he's not nine feet tall. I don't know how I feel about this. Is that just, is this just because Ron is that tall? He's, he's got us beat by a little bit. I, I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. <laughs> he also speaks fluent English. Uh, that's not <laughs> what I was expecting. Okay, Hodor is, um, a little different than in the books. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hodor. Odor. 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 <laughs> Damn, you you got to have giant's blood. Odor. <laughs> uh, right now I'm in between jobs, so if you've got any work for me, I'm willing to discuss it. <laughs> he just has intermittent uh, you know, periods of uh, lucidness where he can speak perfectly fine, huh? Okay. Um, I can use someone like you in my company. Uh, there are some townspeaker, townspeople who have looked after me here. Made sure I was fed in that. I'd like to give them something before I'd go. Can I ask for 553 dinars as an advance? Yeah, that is, uh, quite a decent amount, but... It's Hodor, man. Of course we gotta take him. Alright, I'm curious to see what his stats are. He should just be a beast, right? He should be strong. Like, crazy strong. Like, some good athletics. And then, like, maybe some really good two-handed. Is what I would expect. I would hope. Alright, so let's take a look at him here. Hodor. Okay, he costs quite a decent amount. Is that 46 a day? Damn, Hodor. Okay, well that's why. Holy. 262 two handed. And, and pole arm. 150 athletics. And 250 one handed. Some good throwing too. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, very generous. Um, Alright, not not much valor. Merciful and <laughs> calculating negative two. Okay, that's, you know what, that's fair. He's not supposed to be known for his intellect. Um, interesting. Okay, so, this is our first hero. And I kind of alluded to this a little bit in the first episode. But, the next time I live stream... Anyone who's there will be able to bid on Hodor with, the, like, uh, the channel points, dinars that you get from just watching live streams. And whoever bids the most will be able to rename him to uh, whatever they want, and he'll be their hero. And I'll even let them kind of dictate a little bit of how they want me to load him out. Because, and I'll be honest, you got a lot of options with him. Two-handed, one-handed, polearm, throwing. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, give him a, give him a big two-handed axe so he can cleave. Maybe, you know, a sword and a shield, and then some javelins? Sounds promising. Sounds promising. Alright, I like that. What level is he? Just curious. Oh, he's already level 22, so he probably won't level up too much more. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, look at this. He can actually continue to improve these skills. Wow. 260 just has to get to 275. I think he, he, I think he probably has enough that he can get to the end game perks on each of these that's really impressive how much hp do you have i don't even know if we can see that hmm hodor that's a good pickup 
All right, cool. Um, also, we need to ransom off our prisoners here that we picked up. So, 225. Okay, this is more like it. That'll pay for Hodor right there. And then I think we might keep these guys just because they're lower tier and we can actually recruit them to join our party. And it's always nice to have some cavalry help us move around the map faster uh, as well as hold more goods, hold more loot from the battles. I don't need them to fight for me. I just need them to hold my loot. Perfect. All right, so that's a good amount of money. And then there's a tournament going on, right? Yeah, there's a tournament. Okay, so let's win this tournament. And then the plan is for this episode... I want to start moving north. I want to introduce myself to the Starks if possible. Start doing some quests. Gaining some relationships, some charm skill. And then, I don't know if we'll make it there this episode. But Ron has heard tell of the wall. And he wants to check it out. Because he's heard there's some interesting things beyond the wall. So, I want to do that if possible. And get into a big fight. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we want to do. So, let's just start with this. Okay, three lords in white tabard over male hauberk. Okay, that sounds like it's got decent potential. Depending on how much it sells for. Um, if it's not better than what we currently have, we'll either sell it or we could give it to to um, to Hodor, I suppose. I will just have to see. Just have to see. All right, that looks like it might be pretty good. I think that's significantly better than, than what we currently have. So, yeah, we might be using this. Okay. We are up against Hodor here in this first round. So, uh, four teams of two. Do we still get... Oh, we still get four to one odds here. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Actually, I think it might technically be three to one. That's fine. Hodor is terrifying. Okay. Well, now when I smack him down like that. Get him out of here. Uh-huh. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, 2v1 here. Love that, love that. But we're already into the next round. That's all that matters. Oh, cleave it up. Okay, there's no cleave with this axe. I see, I see. Woo! Turned on him. Turned on him. They're ready for prime time, baby. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. It's good pickup. Good pickup. Getting some two-handed skill. We like that. Skip that. What do we got here? Brandon the Younger and Caitlin Dustin. Not sure who they are. I do need to start actually, like, when I see lords around the map, I need to actually talk to them, because I'll show you guys after this tournament. I was doing a little bit of research on the different lords around here. They're all blurred out, which I guess, lore-wise, makes sense. This is a brand new land. Ron doesn't know anybody. He wouldn't know anything. So, I guess from that perspective, it makes sense. From from a VMP perspective, very annoying. Oh, shit. That was a little cocky. To go for the uh, <laughs> the old kick. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm still gonna try next round though, probably. <laughs> all right, who wants that? Brandon the Younger. All right, we got a two v two here. We got okay, Archer and the what the fuck? Who is this? We have an, a shining knight in armor. What is? Who are you? <laughs> Northern Warlord? What the fuck is this unit? This looks hype. I have never seen a, a Stark, a Northern soldier with that type of armor in the movie. Or in the show. Bitch. Okay, good block. Don't give me that much. Brandon the Younger, huh? Dude, I want to recruit some of them. That is some really, really clean looking armor. Alternatively, I'll just take getting that chest piece myself. That, Like I said, it looks really good. It's really good. <laughs> I shouldn't be playing with my food here. Ooh, that was close. Get him out of here. Boom. Boom. I had to just, you know, soften him up a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful. Some more renown. Some more money. And I think... I think this thing is way better than what we currently have on. If I remember right, what we currently have on didn't really have any leg or uh, arm armor. And this one looks like it does. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and significantly more body armor as well. This is just all around a lot better. Oh, it sells for 6k. Oh, that's a lot. That could be pretty good. All right, hold up. So let's get this. Hodor is just wearing nothing here. We gotta give him a little something. A little something something. Alright. Don't say I never did nothing for you, okay? 
Okay, Hodor. Cool. Yeah, we'll do that. And then, weapon-wise, what are we looking at here? He just has a single rusty iron sword. That's not great. I'd like to give him this two-handed axe, but the, the simple Sparth axe, it just, I don't know, it doesn't do... It doesn't have much, much length, is the problem. Hmm. I mean, we could get it for him. Maybe we get him the axe. Sell the sword off, and then maybe... Oh, that bow. That bow is so good. Uh, maybe give him some... Yeah, some javelins here is what I'm thinking. Nothing too crazy. Give him a bunch of cheap ones. Yeah. Like two sets of these cheap javelins, maybe. I right, can make it three. Make it three. Why not? All right, we're spending a lot of money upgrading him, but I think it'll be worth it. I think we'll get some good kills with that. All right, perfect. So, anyways, here's what I wanted to show you. Um, so, a lot of you guys pointed out there is a, a faction, a house of the Mormonts here, and they live on Bear Island. Yeah, Bear Village, Bear Mines. Um, now, in the show, all I remembered of the Mormonts were the youngest daughter, who was all that was left, right? Liana Mormont. But, alright, here's the annoying part. Once again, I haven't met her yet, so I don't know what she looks like or what her age is. However, so far, there is still her mother left, I think. Maybe her mother? Not entirely sure. But Meiji Mormont, known as the She-Bear, the head of House Mormont, and the Lady of Bear Island. Does that not make sense for Ron Baringsworth to go after her? But here's the problem. She might be so old that she can't have kids anymore. In which case, Ron is just no longer going to go for her. Um, we'll have to see. Maybe they made, maybe they aged Liana up in this. In which case, it's more appropriate that long that Ron can go for her. But I mean, Ron's still fifty. I don't know, man. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to try to meet them at some point. Oh God. Okay. Yeah, we want to start heading up in this direction. I, I think that's for sure. All right. What do we get? We get anything cool here? Some two-handed. What do we got? All right. Uh, Ten percent handling, or yeah, definitely handling. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right, I think that's all we need here. Let's go ahead and start heading north. So, yeah. Anyways, that was a, a roundabout way of saying we need to start introducing ourselves and being friendly. Oh, like this. Hello. Galbert Glover. What's going on? Actually, a pretty decent Yours sized is lord not there. Face I know. What is your name, stranger? He's owner of Deepwood Mont. Okay, that's a town. That makes sense. And he, he needs horses? I could help you with that, I think. Okay, campaigning this season has taken an even higher toll on the horses than it has on my men. The animals will drop dead of exhaustion while my troops soldier on. Yet if we don't keep our stocks up, the enemy will run rings around us. What do you need? Three horses. Yeah, we can do that. They need to be northern palfreys. Okay. Bring them to me in a bag of 2,156 coins will be right in your pocket. That's... Seems good. How much are these horses? Um, should cost no more than 1,100. Okay, yeah, I can do this. All right, this guy doesn't like us a little bit. Only negative one. This should get him to come around to our side. Dude, you have just the most unfortunate sized head. I'm sorry, it was distracting me. Like, what is that forehead? I can see it through your helmet. That's insane. Um, okay, so he's going to keep moving south. Well, hopefully they have enough of these horses here in Barrowton. All right, let me quick run over here, see if I can get them, and then see if we can't find Galbert again. Where's he going? Following Meg Megder Serwin's party. Hmm, okay. Well, it's a good thing we have Hodor, because we should be able to carry all these horses now without having a herd penalty. Oh, nice! Yeah, look at this! Three of these is what? Yeah, a little over a thousand? We have, Oh my god, we barely have enough. Okay. Yoink. Um, what's the speed penalty on that? 0.75. Alright, I mean, not great. I guess we could recruit a singular soldier. Hmm. And start training him up. I want to know how you get those house... No, not the house guard. Who was that? Northern Warlord? It might be the noble tier unit. Yeah. Closest looks like the northern winter champion. Hmm, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Alright. Um, if we recruit one, how much... Does he increase our speed? He does. By six. By point six, I mean. Beautiful. Alright. 
Do we have enough food? We have one grain. Mm. Tell you what, let's get some food. We are we are cutting it close. <laughs> we are cutting it real close. Let's get two grain. All right, and we'll head down here. It looked like he was heading roughly this direction. Let me see if we can't find him real quick. Oops, some more lords to talk to. Nice. Okay, so I just saw a message saying that Theon Greyjoy was lost. So that seems like a relatively important character to have just been lost, whatever that means. I guess, all right, well, we haven't met him. I guess we never will. Um, also, there are these robber knights here that have some prisoners. Ooh, okay, so they just took out a caravan. Those should be some decent guys to pick up. And there's seven of them. All right, five horsemen, one knight, one scout. That seems not too bad, right? I mean, this will be a tough battle, but I think we give it a try. Aye, what have we here? There's a tax for passage in these parts, traveler, paid either in coin or in blood. Mm, mm hmm. Yeah, your blood, I think. And probably the blood of Hodor and that random guy we picked up, if we're being honest. Those guys are not going to last long in this fight. <laughs> we're going to kind of leave them behind. Uh... George! Oh, okay, there we go. Let's see if we can't get a... We got 47 arrows, so, I mean, that is quite a decent amount to work with. Okay. Landed a good shot. Hodor's down. Actually, I should probably be more careful. Hodor can get killed. I mean, we, the odds are reduced, but they can die. Ooh, oh man, this thing has a, a lot of range with the, the glaive attacks. Ah, but... Ooh, that, that's never fun. I'm actually kind of worried about how the horse is going to hold up. Jesus, these guys are coming in hot. Alright, alright, wait up, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Alright, let's get them all clumped up. Okay, 23 damage. We need some headshots. I mean, the chip damage with the body will work. 20, 30 damage a hit here. Nice, there we go. 68 damage headshot. Good, good, good. And we need to keep an eye on if any of them split off from the group like this because <laughs> that's how they flank us that's how they flank us and we get into a lot of trouble all right no come on now. slow down a little bit beautiful headshot okay we just need one more on this guy oh this is the actual map shit okay now his compatriots are coming in beautiful another headshot okay these two are both very low there we go double double up the headshot on him coming in. Oh, this is a fun fight. Alright. Okay, 71 damage to the horse. Uh, I don't I don't think we have enough arrows to realistically de-horse all of them. Their horses got probably like 250-300 HP a piece. I just I don't think that's gonna work. Let's bring it back. Wait, there's... Hold up. There's more of them. There he is. Okay. I was like, we're getting flanked somewhere. I know it. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. They did ding up the, our horse a little bit. There is one on the ground, though. So, potentially, if we get dehorsed, there's something that we can shoot for. That's a beautiful headshot. Needed that. That's the one singular... Oh, my God. And another one. That's the one singular guy with a shield. Okay. Hello. Are they down? Is it, just, is it three or four left? There's four left, no? Could be wrong. Have to watch for when he comes back. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. That wasn't even, like, a very powerful stab. It did a quarter of our health. With the new armor, I might add. Like, we have, we do have the new armor. Is it just three of them left? It is just three of them left. Oh, okay. All right, hey. All right, let's get them clumped up. No. Beautiful. Alright. Starting to chip him down. He's the big boy. Nice. What a headshot. Okay. Okay. We might get some big armor from this. I know we kind of got screwed when we took out a bunch of them in the uh, their camp. But I think that's because it was a camp battle. I think we have a much 
better odds. Oh, that was very close. I think we have much better odds of getting good loot from field battles. Beautiful. Oh, what a level up. We deserve it if we win this battle. Oh, we kind of needed to hit that. If we didn't, he was going to stab us. And that's a one thats a one shot with how fast he was going. Okay, alright, alright, alright. We have 12 arrows here. Let's, um, let's make him count if we can. Okay. Beautiful. Oh my god, a headshot. Okay. I don't like being behind him. Or, I mean, I don't like being in front of him. Let's be... Okay. Nice. 18. Okay, he pulls off the sword. That's a mistake, I think, I hope. Because that doesn't have much range on it. Alright. Okay. Potentially, we could whack down his horse from here. Or take out his shield. Yeah, we could take out his horse. Okay, wait, hold up. He's back to the spear. Back to the spear. He realized he didn't have the range to deal with us. Ooh! Oh, baby. That was a... <laughs> that was a stressful fight, man. They're coming in hot with the charges and their spears. If they hit you with any speed like bonus, it's over. It's a one-tap. The one, like... The one time we did get hit, he was like standing still and just did that. And did a, did a quarter of our HP through our new armor. Oh, what would we get? Okay, nine more riding, six more archery, some medicine, some pole arm. Beautiful. And, alright, the northern recruit was just knocked unconscious. I kind of expected him to die, to be honest. But, yeah, we'll take them. And we'll take these guys, I suppose. That does make us a little bit slower. Do we not want the... We can probably get rid of the, the recruit, right? Will that make us faster? That will make us a lot faster. Alright, recruit, we're going to leave you uh, wounded on the side of the road. Yeah, I have determined you do not, in fact, have what it takes. Um, we don't need him either. He slows us down. He slows us down. Alright, maybe we'll just take the caravan uh, master and caravan guard. He does Actually, the caravan master isn't on a, isn't on a horse, really? Alright, but he doesn't slow us down. We'll take him. Cool. Good work. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, all right. Oh, well, they did. They had just taken out the uh, the caravan. So it kind of makes sense. Wow, I really like our uh, our banner on the front of our tabard. That's nice. Uh, I'd like to think that like when he won the tournament, they custom make that for him. Um, wow, that sells for a lot. I think we're gonna we, I think we gotta sell this man. And the rest of this is gonna sell for a decent amount. Do you hear some nice boots? Someone's making a joke in the comments. They're like, yep, there goes Ron killing eleven men just to loot a single pair of boots off of them. And it's like, yeah, and even better, he went into a robber knight hideout. They're a camp, raided it, killed like a dozen men just for him to walk in and select a single pair of gloves and be like, yes, this is what I was looking for, and then leave. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good. And it got a good modifier on it. That's why it has so much leg armor. All right, yeah, we'll loot all that, and we can just, just carry it all. Beautiful, man. Oh, that's so nice. So nice. I'm glad we won that. I'm glad we won that. Okay. Hello? Okay, there we go. So let's see. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put this into charm. I mean, as fun as that was, you know, I still, I still have my eyes set on uh, like a larger group. I want the pirates. The pirates from last episode, I just feel like that'd be a good test. I mean, like, could we fight these 24 broken men? Even fuck it, we'll make it 36. We could, but like, I don't know, it's just not the same. I might fight them. You know, I'll fight them real quick. Yeah, yeah. Might as well get some uh, some XP in here, and we should be able to do this without taking too many losses. Okay, basically done. Only two of them left. And we just ran out of arrows, so almost perfect on that front. Ooh, okay, okay, 
Okay. <coughs> Trying to block here. That's a bonk for you. One bonk for you. <laughs> that short little axe is not going to reach me when I have this ginormous glaive to hit you from a mile away. Boom. He's out of here. Good stuff. All right. I told the guys to just run away right away so that they uh, didn't get taken out. Uh, but damn, 5.6 right now. Not too shabby. And quite a bit of uh, riding and archery there. Beautiful. That should be perks for both of them, I think. Should get us the uh, tier 75 perks. Nice. Okay. And some decent loot here. Huh, we are pretty close to our max. Hmm. Get rid of some of this stuff, maybe. Maybe even some of the hardwood. And then get a bunch of this. Yeah, I think that's the move. Until we fill up. Ah, what, how slow is this really going to make us? Probably not that slow. We'll take it all. Beautiful. All right, let's keep on moving south. Oh, wait, before we do that, I have to level up. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. Quick adjustments. Uh, negative 50% uh, the accuracy penalty while reloading. or Oh, while rotating. Uh, okay. Or plus 25% reload speed with bows. I think that one looks better. I like that. And then riding, what do we got here? Plus 20% carry capacity to pack animals. That's kind of nice. Plus 30% party speed bonus from mounted foot troops. That's that's realistically the better one. Yeah, we'll take that. And then, all right, so we do... Ooh, nice. Actually, we got an attribute point with that as well. Okay. Okay, what do we want here? I feel like we have a lot going over here. Maybe another one into Vigor wouldn't hurt. Let's do that. And then let's keep getting, let's keep working the charm up. I, I think I really like that idea. Maxing that out. Let me see. We need six more in order to max out endurance and vigor. And then realistically, I mean, maybe we do go for social. Charm and leadership is nice. However, also intelligence with stewardship and medicine would be nice as well. Hmm. It's kind of close. It's kind of tight. I don't know. And then even, you could even argue control just to get, so that we can get our bow up to the uh, higher tier. Yeah, that's tough. Luckily, that's uh, not a decision we need to make anytime soon. Alright, I'm going to keep on traveling south here, and we will see what we can find. Um, I feel like safe bet is they're probably going to be somewhere hanging around the siege. Ooh, okay, six forest bandits. I, I just did a fight. I'm not trying to do another one, man. Leave me alone. Please tell me we're faster than them. Okay, we are. Cool. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there he is. Perfect. Galbert, my man. Come on over here. It's been a what? It has not been that long. It's been like a day, man. Here you go. Here are your horses. Beautiful. 14 points in charm. Some renown for us. And a good amount of money. And he likes us now. I think we're at least a plus one, right? Yeah, plus one. Cool. Beautiful. Ooh, self-promoter. Plus three renown when you win a tournament. That's pretty nice for us early game. We need to get our clan tier up. Or, oh, virile. Uh, plus 30% more likely to have children. Low key, Ron is 50. I think when we get a wife, we're going to respec and choose that instead of self-promoter. <laughs> Ron might need all the help he can get. And I'm not talking about Viagra. <laughs> I don't think they've invented that here. I don't know. Could be wrong. All right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, I just want to meet what other lords that I can. But we're going to have to wait for this battle to be done. A lot, lot of quests, potentially. Okay, let's wait for the battle to be done. I'm going to introduce myself to all these lords, and we can start heading north. Okay, so the fight ended. I have finally talked to all the lords here. Um, ba King Balon Greyjoy just came in. Um, but for some reason, he's running away from these guys, even though he outnumbers them. Like, I don't know. Not quite two to one, but pretty decently. Uh, also, the one guy we just talked to and did the quest for has another one, it would seem. You see, did he join up with the army yet? Where'd he go? I want Galbert, this guy. Let me talk to Galbert. He's got another quest. What do you got now? <gasps> oh, the tutor quest. Oh, 
Also, you have prisoners? Let me talk to him. Uh-huh. All right. Cool. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Nope. Uh, wait. Coming back. Coming back. All right. Let's circle back. You have another problem? I've not heard of your clan. I'm not sure I can rely on you or not. You haven't heard of me? Come on. I just delivered you some horses. You can totally trust your nephew or whatever to train under me. Damn. Okay. All right. Well, that, that would have been cool. All right. Well, enough of that. Let's head north. Let's meet some Starks. Potentially, you know, maybe maybe pop by Bear Island. Talk to uh, some of the Mormons. And then failing that, hey, we'll go north of the wall and see if we can find some cool battles with uh, maybe some White Walkers is what I'm thinking. Uh, are these guys oh, he's willing to join us? Beautiful. Welcome aboard. Love that. Should actually speed us up a decent amount. Ooh, another guy. Hello. Ooh, Ramsey Snow. Peace to you, stranger. That bastard. Oh, he might be the reason why Theon just disappeared. <laughs> um, Alright, if you ever want a chance for glory, you might want to consider fighting for me. One day you can tell your grandchildren you served under my command. Alright, got you. Very confident in yourself. I respect it. Alright, let me say hi to all these lords. See if there's any uh, cool uh, quests for us to do. Otherwise, we'll keep on heading north. Uh, forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. Did they give him, like, a custom voice? Why is this, like, so deep? It's terrifying, because I know it's Ramsey Snow, and the, you know what he did in the, in, the, in the TV series. We don't need to talk about it. All right, get the fuck out of here. I don't know. That guy gives me the creeps. Wow, okay. I think you guys missed this dude's voice, but look at his name. Steel Shanks Walton. Is this a real character? I assume it is. Also, is that a flayed... Is his emblem a flayed body on his chest? Dude, he reminds me of, uh, like, a, an old character we made, Edward Longshanks, like the Black Prince. Oh, okay, this guy, I don't know, he's just got, he's just got that, oh, he's a Bolton. Okay, that makes sense. The Boltons get, like, custom voices then in this. Alright, okay, yeah, another guy we definitely don't want to mess with. Alright, I think that's all of them. On we go. Uh, we need to actually sell off the loot from those. <gasps> oh, oh, it's the she-bear! It's the she-bear! Mage, what are you Stop doing, girl? Stop stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. Okay, I mean, she's not the, the best looking, but, like, she's like a North 8, if we're being honest. Um, <laughs> all right, how old are you? Oh, she's, <laughs> she's 50, okay. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Those eggs are gone. Those are long gone. All right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Great honor. Yep. Okay. Of course, do you need horses, too? Yeah, 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 yeah. All these lords need horses. There's another one that also needed horses on the way back. God, do we just go up there and just buy a ton of horses and then come back? And then that way we finish two of these quests? Um. All right. You know what? I, I want to be on their good side. They are. They don't like me. What do you need? You need three northern palfreys? I am gonna hope that's what all the lords need when they ask for this quest. Alright, okay. Let's go do that. Oh, another guy. Okay, we finally made it. Had a little, uh, you know, run in with some mountain bandits that did a decent amount of damage to us, but luckily it didn't kill any of our guys, so I think we're fine. We'll go ahead and sell off. Oh, uh, we might be making a good amount of money here. Um,. Oh, look at the linen sells for 373. Oh, wood sell for almost a thousand in black tide. God damn. That's pretty nice. Okay, the olives. The date fruit that we just picked up. Holy. Um, normally I would like to keep the iron ore in the hardwood, but I don't think we're gonna be smithing necessarily anytime super soon. So it's probably better to just sell that. We'll keep the grain. We can sell the fish, I think. And then I think we'll end up selling most of this. That is a really long spear. Can it be used on horseback? It looks like it can. But, eh, no. Nah, not worth taking over our current one. Our current one's pretty nice. And then we can sell the knightly arming sword for another two and a half plus grand. It's that six grand we're going to be getting from them. 9,100. Hello. Okay. Let's get six of these palfreys. All right. So that's enough to complete two of those quests. Does that give us herd? It doesn't. Okay, cool. Let's get... Okay, that starts giving us herd. Just a little bit, though. Not too much. 
We might pick up another soldier just to get rid of the herd penalty. Um, that gives us a lot more inventory capacity. Yeah, I think that's the move. Anything cool here? Manderly pauldrons. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Sansa's, uh, you know, only peasant's dress that she's selling. Um, okay. Not bad. Yes, we have more than enough horses. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get out of here. And uh, go drop these off. Ooh, okay. So I stopped at this village to pick up another guy or two to hopefully uh, get rid of that penalty. And these ones have... So, free houses. This is a new troop tree that I haven't seen. Oh my goodness. Frey Assassin? Like the Walder Frey? Okay. Guard of the Crossing over here. Bolton Calvary. Dreadfort Blackguard. Yo! <laughs> Karstark Shot Cavalry. Karstark Loyalist. Dude, this is sick. Oh, I like this. And then there are these guys. Free House's Noble's Son. And so these guys go up into Bolton Flare. Is that a tier 6? What does this guy have? Bolton Flare. Is that a shield that he's wearing? Like just a massive shield? What is, I'm not sure what's going on with him, actually. Oh, no. Did the game crash? Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. We're back. I... I it's already crashed once during this recording. I hope hope that I was able to like kind of edit that bit out. But uh, all right, it seems like we're good. Okay, so these are the Bolton Flayers. Damn, that's some beefy armor, Dreadguard armor, fifty, ten, and twenty. Wow, that's sick. Knightly Arming Sword. That's what. That's one of the ones that we just sold off. Bolton Spear. Damn. All right, I want these three. I don't know if we'll be able to level them up really, but. Give him a shot. That actually brings us up to 5.5. Beautiful. Alright. Let's keep moving. Let's see if we can find the lords. And then actually head north and try to find uh, King Rob. Okay, well here's a new guy that I, I haven't met yet. And he actually needs horses as well. So we can just, I don't know, give it to him. All right? I think you have other similar commitments that could interfere. Oh, so I need to finish the other quest. Are you kidding me? Bro. All right, so he's following someone, though. Lord Great John Umber. Okay, here's a new guy. I can complete your quest right now. Just let me... Hey. <laughs> let me help you. I don't think I know you. Company Keep. of Trouble. What is... I'm not sure what that means. Okay, you haven't heard of my clan. All right, so I think that's a tougher quest. All right, these guys are all following someone. Oh, are they traveling up here to get to Black Tide? That might be where the majority of the North is going right now. That's close enough. Who are you? Ooh, what is this dude wearing? Solid Crimson. Oh, this is Lord Roos Bolton. Okay. So he also needs horses. I should have brought more horses, man. <sighs> dude, I shouldn't have taken the one girl's quest. I guess it doesn't really make sense to take the quest, right? Will you just... Okay, here's John Umber. Who's with you? Please tell me, Lord or Lady, what's her face is with you? <laughs> she isn't. <laughs> oh, stranger! Damn, he's the big boy. I bid you peace. That's at least until I find out who you are. Anyway, I was expecting him or Hodor to be like this dude's size. Okay. All right, give me a sec. Let me let me search around. I'll find him. Oh my God! I finally found her. Okay, here we go, Mage. Ooh, what happened to you? She got into a big battle. She got Not 96 wounded. Alright, here you go. By the task, here are your horses, my lady. Please. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Eight points in charm. That's not too bad. Plus two with House Mormont. Okay, so she still doesn't love us, but that's fine. That's fine. Alright, now I think there should be a decent amount of Northern Lords up here. And I'm hoping we find the ones that we were looking... What the... F Bro, what are you doing? Why did you start this battle? You're outnumbered almost two to one. What idiots. Mage, no way. And you're gonna go in? What are they doing? Are they just that confident? They shouldn't be. They're losing. <laughs> oh, come on. I wanted to sell you horses. Ah, 
eyes. No, don't do that. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, they might hold off just long enough for these guys to come in. Oh, it was all calculated and another army. Oh, all right, okay, hey, respect, respect for that. Jesus, what a clusterfuck, look how many lords there are. God damn. All right, hurry up. I wanna give my, my wares out. Okay, all right, so let's see, who, which other army was it? We just talked to them. I think it's these guys, maybe? What do we got here? Galbert needs his one guy. I don't think it's him. Peace to you. He, not you. Uh, this chick um, wants us to collect revenue, but says, you know, we're not buff enough, which is such an insult to Ron. Uh, so this guy? Peace to you. Yes, this guy. All right. I heard you need help with a problem. What do you need? Three northern palfreys. I got just what you need, sir. I'll bring you the horses myself. <laughs> I'd like to imagine Ron turns around and then immediately pivots back around. And here you go, sir. Three northern palfreys, just as you asked. There are you go. Boom. Some more charm. Some more money. I love it. Okay. Um... They did have some prisoners that we could have talked to in order to introduce ourselves to more lords, but I'll be honest, I'm kind of over it. Um, have we met these guys yet? Steel Shanks It's Walton? been a while. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, Deep voice guy. Okay, we've, we've met these people. Cool. Uh, we've met him. Aesher? I don't know if we've met this person. I, I, whenever I see another northern lord, it's He's worth us easy. meeting them, I think. Just because that's the faction we're probably going to join. Oh, I didn't even notice. We're up over 10k. Oh, and we can recruit the robber knight? Beautiful. We got 10,000 dinars. Ron's about to be able to buy an enterprise pretty soon here. That's sick. All right, let's keep it moving. No, that's really nice. Um, You know, we were, we were always joking around about the different enterprises that Spenoff was making. Like, first it was the brewery. So, you know, it was Spenoff Ice. And then he opened uh, he went to the jewelry business, so it was still spent off ice, just, you know, different type of ice, being iced out. Ron, I feel like, should open up, like, uh, like his own clothing line, you know what I mean? Like, a uh, Bearingsworth furs type of, uh, line? I think that would make sense. Right, what are these guys? You have a good, uh, quest for me here? What do you got? Art of the Trade. Ah. Uh. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Let's just head north. All right, just picked off a couple of groups of uh, broken men uh, because we're doing a little quest for a local village, but our free, free houses noble sons are starting to level up and starting to look a little juicier. All right, I'm liking what we see. Yeah, not much in the way of loot from these guys, but that's not too surprising, but there we go. Some more charm. Just one, one skill point in charm, that's it. Uh, 550 dinars, that was about it. Do we at least get, like, some relationship with this village? I would hope. Do I have to go back and turn it in? No, it's done. Okay, so I got some relationship with him. Alright, that might help out. I don't know. Alright, there are some more robber knights, which, like, they're always fun to fight. But now that we have an army, I'm, like, scared for my troops. Like, Ron, I'm, I'm pretty confident could take him out. I'm worried that we're gonna lose troops in the process. I don't want to lose my boys. But... I don't know, we'll see. Okay, let's head over to White Harbor. There is a tournament going on. Please make it there before the night. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aye, there we go. All right, let's win it. Highland War Spear. All right, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even think this spear is probably going to be worth all that much, but still worth doing nonetheless. And we are slowly making our way north. I think this is slightly north of uh, Barrowton. I could be wrong, but the capital is near. So I guess there's that. All right, let's do this. Gonna make some more money. They're still giving us four to one odds. Clearly, word has not spread about Ron's pretty impeccable <laughs> tournament record so far. Sweet. It's just gonna be a 1v1 over there. Let's hit him with something. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> oh, the jumping overhead. I love it. There we go. Hey, we gotta make sure these, these lords know our name. They're kind of disrespecting us. They've got quests that they need done, and they're just like, I don't know you. 
Well, why don't you give me this quest and I'll make sure you know it. Oh, this is Hodor. Hodor, I remember what we talked about, buddy. You're gonna throw for me, all right? There we go, there you go, beautiful. But really sell it to the crowd. Thank you. Perfect, just what I asked for. All right, get over here. Ooh, I want that two-handed sword, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yoink. Ooh, that guy looks fairly kitted. All right, that's another Northern Warlord. I want to figure out how we get these guys. Boom. As easy as, it, as we just made it seem to take him out, I, I do think they're actually probably pretty decent. Hello. <laughs> Nut shot him. <laughs> Kick him in the balls and then take him out. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright. Another bet. Still giving us like 50-50 odds of winning here. Oh, that was bad. I released my block too early. Tag team this guy. I'm worried that guy's gonna shoot me with a bow. Okay, there we go. Good, shoot him. How? Don't miss that. There we go. Good double team. Alright, last round. Beautiful. Awesome, okay. Another dub. Highland War Spear. Ah, we'll see. Maybe it's worth something. I don't know. Could be decent. I feel like it's kind of going to be hard-pressed for it to be better than our current spear. I mean, this thing is just so nice. Especially, like, because we have the option of using it as a glaive. Could be wrong, though. Damn. That is pretty nice. I'll give you that. What are those perks on it? That's what I'm confused about. What are those perks? I've never seen those. I don't know what that is. All right, maybe we can we can give it a try. It's longer. It does significantly more damage. We'll make sure not to sell this off. Let's sell the rest of this off, though. Damn, grain doesn't go for anything here. This might be a good spot to uh, buy some, then. Yeah, look at that. They have 2,600 grain. What? All right, let's load up. We got all the food we need for uh, for a hot minute. Uh, you got anything cool here? Ooh. Oh, that's not even better than what we have. I've got 10 grain, you know, weighing a hole in my pocket. Northern shoulders. Oh, we don't have any shoulders yet. That could be good. Those are some very nice van braces. 24 arm armor is no joke. Damn, do we make the investment now? We still don't even have a helmet. I was going to kind of wait for a good helmet. These northern shoulders, I think, are going to make quite a difference. All right, they kind of are clipping through our armor a little bit, but that's fine. And the House Hughes Van Braces. 24 arm armor. That's good. That's really good. Okay, that's a lot of our money. It's a lot of the money we just made. I understand. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. We'll give that to Hodor. Upgrade him. Jon Snow Gorget. Alright, anything uh, cool over here? Nothing too crazy. And nothing too crazy over here either. Alright, alright, cool. We will take it. That was a big investment, but we have we have some really nice armor now. Uh, alright, one-handed, what do we got here? Uh, more damage and stun with shield bashes. Okay, hmm. 20% handling to one-handed weapons. Let's do that. And then for the focus point. Any of these would be good. We're not really getting close on any of them, right? Yeah, let's just let's just max out charm. Let's just max out charm. We're gonna be doing some quests for some lords. I think it just makes sense. Alright, well, what do you have here? Your associates have been captured by bounty hunters. Alright. Well, I don't know why they're being tracked down by bounty hunters, but I do not want to be involved. All right, let's go north. Let's see if we can't... I might even make a trip along the side here. I want to see if I can find some pirates. We found that one group of pirates and haven't seen jack shit since. I want one big battle before the uh, the episode's over. Wow. Okay, I'm up here in Dreadfort. We're making our way to the wall, and dude, there's some cool stuff here. They have... Uh, so, a Baratheon hunting spear. Right, this might actually be King Robert Baratheon's spear. 
it looks really good. One, you can couch it like a lance, so finally, that's an option. And then, uh, it's better in every way to our new spear, which was better in every way, pretty much, to this one. So, that's interesting. Okay, it actually doesn't have swing damage. Okay. I see. So, if we were to... Alright, let's say if we do this... Alright, this one doesn't... The Baratheon spear wouldn't have swing damage anyways. Alright, alright. I mean, I can, you know... Alright, I can see where... That wouldn't be the best. Still. I don't know. Feels good to me. Uh, okay. And then look at this. Bolton Night Pauldrons with, with Cloak. This is way better than what we currently have. Looks... Ah, it looks pretty sick. It doesn't really match our armor currently, but it still looks sick. And then a Spiked Salad. Damn, they have some good armor. Some good armor is starting to spawn in. We just have to save up more money and <laughs> be able to afford it again. That's cool, though. That's really cool. All right. Uh, anyways, let's keep on going north. Uh, sounded like Last Hearth and Carhold, I think, had tournaments going on. So maybe we can catch both of those. Earn a decent amount of money. And maybe we'll be able to get one of those really nice, uh... Honestly, a helmet would be good. We don't have a good helmet yet. I don't want to spend money on, like, a mid-tier helmet, because I know we're going to upgrade it so soon. It just kind of feels like a waste. But, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, cool. Tournament's still going on here. Gotta wait a little bit for morning. Cool. What do we got? Oh, another one of these. But I think this sells for a decent amount, so that's fine. Alright, here we go. First round. <laughs> That's not as much damage as I wanted. Alright, let's back up, get back to our boys. Boom. Catch him hard. Finish him off. Oh, I thought we had the speed. Good news is, we're starting to get a decent amount of armor. Ooh, that could have been bad if that hit us. Good. Ooh! <laughs> the overhead. Bolt and torture. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Alright, alright. Keep it going, keep it going. Let's see what we got. I have a crossbow? What the fuck? Okay, that's a decent amount of damage. 46 damage, no joke. Oh, I tried, I tried, I tried going for it. Is that Brandon the Younger is back in this? What the hell? He must be like one of the wanderers that just does tournaments. Oh, I should stop trying to go for headshots on him. His like shields in the way, so I can only really aim for his head from that close. Okay, 44 damage. That's not enough. Oh shit, I knew he was gonna shoot me. Come on, reload. Okay, Jesus. I was so nervous his buddy was gonna shoot me. Oh, okay, reload, reload. No way they hit me through that. Why am I safer right next to the enemies in melee range? Okay, check out the archer. Alright, hold on. Oh, let's get on horse back, maybe? We'll finish Brandon off here. If we can. Nice headshot on the black guard. All right, I think we're good now. Okay, good shot. All right, my buddy took him out. Nice. To be honest, I really have not used crossbows much in all of Bannerlord. I don't know how I feel about them. Like, they're very slow reloading. So, I, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't feel like they do enough damage over endgame bows to be worth it. Okay, hit his force pretty good there. Nice. Do we have any other weapons? We don't. It's just this. Okay. Nice. Alright, come on. Stop stop going in circles. Let's finish this off. Thank you. Alright. Got him. Done. We facing. Oh, well, it's a 1v1 against Hodor in the finals. Alright, here we go. I'm sorry, Hodor. Remember, if you throw, I'll give you some more, I don't know, food, whatever you want. Whatever your big ass wants. Boom. Clean. Easy dubs. I think if Hodor wins that, don't we still get the uh the prize, right? I'm not entirely sure how that works. Man, this is a cool picture. Is this like Sir Jamie charging down the dragon? With uh, Daenerys. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little picture. Alright, let me see what we got here. Oh, six grand. And we got to tier one. Oh, beautiful. Alright, do you have anything good here that I'd want? Damn, yeah, look at these Dreadguard Bracers. 
are 30 grand. And they have the same armor as the ones we just bought. I had a feeling this would be good. Karstark armor, 20 grand. It's not even better than what we have. The Coif. Uh, that Coif is actually pretty decent. Not going to lie. Bolton gauntlets. All right, those are slightly better. Golden plate boots. Uh, you can argue we should get that. Wow. Are we going to be rolling up in red? Those, I mean, that's a big upgrade. Plus 15. All right, I'm sorry, Hodor. You'll you'll get the next suit of armor. Maybe. That's just, these are, this is a big upgrade for us. That's very nice. And we still are getting money from this. Damn, these bows are fire, man. They're really good. I mean, this is similar to the Werewood bow, except I don't think this is quite as good. Be interesting to see how they stack up. It's a lot cheaper. It's way cheaper. Damn. That's that's just insane. Anything good there? Cool. That's neat. Alright, boom. More money. Alright, let's see. Actually, I should probably have been checking out these taverns. Ah, there is. Ah, uh, first ransom off them. There is a hero. Okay. Let's get another hero. Who is Miranda? Is this like, uh... One of the, like, the sister out of the brother and sister that went north. That were, like, hauling around, um, <laughs> what's his face on the sled? Hauling around brand. You know what I'm talking about? Is that who's this, who this is? Uh, where is she? Oh, that's Hodor following me around. She, oh, she's upstairs. Like, am I thinking they're the right person? Your health, stranger. So, who might you be? Miranda from the Dreadfort. Uh, I have a great set of skills from tending dogs to warming your bed. That is forward. After my lover showed he was more interested in others, I split my own way. My fa father was a kennel master at the Dreadfort. Have you ever seen a body after the dogs have been at it? The dogs have been at it? Not so pretty. I wow. Some red flags are popping up. <laughs> um, Alright, come. Even if you don't warm my bed, there's plenty of others in my party who need that. Ron. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh my goodness. 410. Who, who, who the fuck did we just recruit? <laughs> oh my god. Is she even gonna have any decent stats? I feel like she isn't. I hope she has something good like medicine or tracking or something. You know. Medicine, she uh, heals them through the, uh, the old fashioned way. What's that song? Sexual healing? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let's see. Miranda. She is garbage. She is absolutely just garbage. Okay. Well, I think I know who you guys are going to bid over more between her and Hodor. <laughs> but still, hey, if you want a hero, look, she's an open book. So basically, whatever you guys... Ooh, taking out 48 uh, broken men, that could be fun. But I want, I want some tougher enemies. I'll be honest. That's what that's what I want. I want to fight some tougher enemies, and a decently large group of them. And if we have to go north of the wall, then so be it. But yeah. So, anyways, I mean, like I said, she's not really great at any one thing. So whatever you guys want her to specialize into, I'm fine with. So I guess that's decent. Uh, Mormont bracers. Interesting. Oh my God! It's another Hodor final that we're gonna be in oh <laughs> sooner or later the uh the fucking odds maker is gonna be like wait a minute hodor keeps on throwing there's no way a man that size should keep on losing not bad these braces are pretty decent as well 22 arm armor not quite as good as the ones uh we just bought but hopefully they sell for a decent amount uh maybe we'll give them to hodor i don't know Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hold on, hold on. We talked about this, buddy. You gotta... Okay, coming out kind of hot there, Hodor. <laughs> all right, hey, all right. They definitely don't think we're faking it now. That was a little, uh, little too close for comfort. <laughs> he hits hard, man. Even through our new armor, which... I mean, look at us. We actually look pretty good. This is only the second episode. Let's see what this thing goes for. Only a thousand. All right, if it's only a thousand, tell you what, there you go. There you go, Hodor. It's a big upgrade for you. Boom. Nice. Alright. Let's 
Add north. Actually, wait, hold up. Go back. Shit, those <laughs> those are actually good. Give them, give them back. Give them back. I need them. Hodor needs them. Yeah, that's a huge upgrade for him. Boom. Beautiful. Good work. All right, tell you what. It's got to be getting late in terms of the episode. I'm going to search around until I find a cool army to take on. And then uh, I'll, we'll wrap up the episode after that. And then we will be heading north to Castle Black and beyond the wall. And next episode, we're going white hunting. Also, we have some new skill points here, or some new feats. All right, imposing stature. 30 plus 30% 30 persuasion chance? That's, cr that's cracked. That's so good. What? And then what is this? Plus 50% crafting stamina rate. Dude, imposing stature sounds sick. And it definitely fits with Ron. And then scouting, plus 2% travel speed during daytime. I think I'd rather have the night. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, I had, a good, I had an interesting idea. If we don't want to fight the White Walkers this episode, these guys just hate everyone. Skagosi, I still am not entirely sure who or what the Skagosi are. Um, but man, there's a lot of them. I would like to fight one of those groups. But all of those groups seems like a lot. Oh, here we go, 24. That seems dual. Damn, there are so many of them running around. Jesus Christ. Oh, crap. There's. A... <laughs> can I, I want to isolate them if I can. I just want one of you. Maybe 28. Look at this 28. 12 prisoners over here. What prisoners do you have? <gasps> oh, they've got a bunch of Night's Watch. Rangers. Oh, this group would be good. If we could fight them. Okay. 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 Come on. Stay away. Stay away from them. No, 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 no. I don't, no. I, I don't want to fight all you guys. I'm able to just do this 28. Okay, we're gonna fight this 28. Oh, it's kind of dark hey, out. you! Where you going your bags? Where are you carrying? All right, this could be... This could be dicey. We could lose some boys here. In fact, I might actually tell my guys to retreat. As crazy as that sounds. I'd, I think I'd rather have Ron take them 1v one, one however many. 1v20. I'm gonna get a lot of range, guys. Like, it, it looks like these are kind of going to kind of be like Sea Raider types. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what we're feeling like. For right now, everyone stay over here. Okay, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty open map at least. This might not be the best time to be trying out our new... Uh... Oh, that was a neck shot that only did 70. Oh, shit. Forward! Oh, boy. Retreat! Okay, let's tell them to retreat. Okay. Right, so we do have a new spear, just can't be swung. And these guys, <laughs> literally all of them. Boom, okay, one tap with a spear though. Okay, okay, I like that. Look, they all have javelins, but the good news about javelins, they run out. <laughs> they run out a whole lot quicker than bows do. were a little scary. Oh no, okay, he clipped us with that one. Oh boy, all right. Oh. All right, another one down, another one down. Getting a lot of pull arm skill at least. This, I mean, this new thing hits hard. Hits really hard with the stab. Okay. Nice. Okay, almost followed up again. Problem is our horse is uh, taking quite the beating already. These guys are tough. Alright, they're also running away from the most part. Looks like. Another one down. 166 damage. Yeah, damn, the spear is nice. Imagine the King Robert's uh, spear. Beautiful, another one down. Alright, we're picking them off. We're not even really using our bow. How many, how many javelins they got left? Looks like a few javelin boys in the back still, but not too many. As soon as they're out of javelins, we can use our bow, train them around, take out a bunch of them. Okay, good. Big miss is there. Okay, he just picked, pulled out his axe. So there's just this one one last javelin guy back. Okay, big whiff. Oh no, two more. Okay. Dude, how many fucking javelins you got? He's still got more in his little, uh, his little quiver there, I can see.
Okay. Good news is, we one-shot them with actual headshots. Next shots don't kill them. We need the bonus damage from that perk in order to one-shot them with our headshots. Okay. Good news so far. How does that not hit a single head? <laughs> I threaded the needle. It was the only tiny little couple pixels that didn't have an enemy head in them. Oh shit. Some of them have actually have helmets. That's not my, oh come on. I don't have that many arrows. I don't have enough arrows to be two tapping these guys. This Gagosi Plunderer. This should be some good loot at least. And since they are fighting the Night's Watch, hopefully uh They'll appreciate us taking these guys out when we get up there. Getting some really good XP from this, though. Some really good XP. Okay. Don't really have any spears, either. So we might actually have some success going in with our, uh... With our spear, although I, I don't think that'll be necessary. I think the kills we got earlier with it were plenty. But when they're all grouped up like this... And our horse is already pretty weak. I'm just kind of apprehensive about trying that. Nice. Might actually be able to get to 100 bow skill this battle. Eh, probably not. Probably not. Over 100 riding, though. That's beautiful. Yeah, these guys have to have some good loot. We killed so many of them. I think this is the biggest fight we've had. And these guys are worth a hell of a lot more than those broken men. Better be. Nice. Yeah, we had plenty of arrows to do this. Is it two of them or three of them? We got a short one in the middle. Alright. Tell you what, I want to use this spear a little more. This thing was nice. Like, obviously, it doesn't have the side attack. It doesn't have the swing, but... Ooh. It's got range, and it's got hella damage. Which, seeing how effective this is, really makes me want to try out that, that King Baratheon. Wow, what a whiff on my part. That was kind of bad. Actually, wow. Okay, this could be really bad if we uh, got dehorsed and lost at the very end here. But that's not going to happen. Beautiful. Good win. Good win. That's going to be worth a lot. Look at all the bodies. 26 killed. Only two of them were wounded. That's a whole bunch of riding, bow, and polearm. That's sick. Very nice. All right, a couple of Skagosi clansmen. I don't think they're worth that much. Whatever, we can sell them off to the Night's Watch. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this should be worth a decent amount. Rusty Mail, that's better for you. Uh, and then Miranda, what are, we, what are we doing with you, girl? Alright, this is a better sword for you, at least. We can give you a shield. I'll give you my shield that I was going to use. That's fine. Give you some of that to use. And then... This, this, this. There's no helmets, huh? I'll just loot the rest. Alright, hey, not bad. And we're going to have a bunch of perks after that. Alright, so let's get moving here. Well, it's good to know, we can always come to this side of the map if we need to farm, like, some XP. Or, like, some loot. Like, there's just tons of those guys running around. Uh, oh, they don't want to fight us. I'm so, so used to having to run away from them if I'm not looking for a fight. But no, we're actually looking pretty beefy. This has been a good second episode. We made a ton of progress. So let's let's check this out. Pole arm. Okay, 30% uh, chance of knocking enemies back with thrust attacks made with pole arms versus 25% chance of dismounting enemy cavalry with a heavy hit. That'd be, okay, that could be cool. Does that count if we're on horseback? That could be really sick. I think I want to try that. And then, this perk is pretty decent as a captain. 10% damage by infantry in your formation against uh, cavalry. That should apply to everybody, not just with pole arms. At least from how it's worded. With thrust attacks. Made with pole arms. Hmm... Yeah, I think I like the dismounting enemy cavalry, just because it looks cool, more than anything. Alright, oh, here we go, yes, okay. Both of these are really good perks, but... Negative 15% accuracy penalty while mounted, that's, that's really nice. Now this one's good too, 
plus 5% top speed to your mount, plus 2% party speed. It's actually also really good. Wow, these are both good. I think this one's better, though. Those are both really nice perks. No lie. All right. Um. So we maxed out our charm. We can continue working on what? Stewardship is mainly like for being the party leader, right? I guess we could. I mean, it's always good to have perks in that. I think. Uh, Bo is actually getting a little, little close there for comfort. Let's go ahead and do that. And so, with how, what we currently have, without upgrading control at all, we should be able to get it up to like this tier of perks. So more zoom with the bow, 10% less damage taken from projectiles. Those, those are both really good perks, man. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's get to Castle Black. I'd like to imagine <laughs> Ron coming up and seeing this wall and like it refuses to get smaller as he gets closer to it. And it's just like, holy shit. This thing is no joke. And indeed, it is not. All right. Oh, that's a really good horse. That's a really good horse. I kind of wants it. Um, all right, let me see what we got here. Sell that off. Sell that off. Sell the cheese. Yeah, they don't, they don't get any cheese or meat this far north. They're willing to pay bank for it. All right. Let me sell this off. I got 800. Damn. Okay. So how much was that thing? We could afford it. It would take pretty much everything we got. Well, there's a tournament going on here. So maybe we start off next episode, we win that tournament and buy this sick-ass horse. I mean, look at this thing. It's faster, way more maneuvers, significantly more hit points, more charge. It's better than our current horse in pretty much every way. Um, anything else good here? No, that's the main thing. Cool. All right, well, we are going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Let's just check. Oh, Yorin and Benjen Stark. Awesome. All right, we'll recruit them at the beginning of next episode. All right, so there's actually tons of heroes for you guys to uh, get at the next live stream. We might just do two or three. Like, I don't want to. I don't want you guys to, you know, get all the heroes, but um, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. As always, you know, if you could like the video, it's uh, you know, it really helps out. Um, I will see you guys next time, probably in the next day or two. I'll try to have another episode out for you guys. Sorry, this one took so late to come out. Uh, just the game kept on crashing. But until next time, as always, take it easy, lads.